to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We continue looking today at Philippians chapter 2 and verse 1. The four powerful incentives for Christian fellowship. Number one, the encouragement we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. And number two, the comfort of God's love. And number three is the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. And number four is tenderness and compassion. Tenderness and compassion. Now listen to this verse from the Old Testament. Psalm 145 and verse 8. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, and rich in love, he has compassion on all he has made. What a verse that highlights the attributes of our God. <clears throat> and this particular verse, in one form or the other, is uh, found at least 10 different times all across the Old Testament. So if you want a description, a character description of the God of the Bible, the God of the Old Testament, here you have it. Psalm 145 and verse 8. <clears throat> the Lord is compassionate and very, very tender in his dealings with us. We read in uh, Matthew chapter 12 concerning the Lord Jesus Christ, a bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out. So when we are hurting, and when the music in our life is about to go out, the Lord Jesus Christ comes and he heals us. He ministers to us ever so gently and tenderly. In 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 1, we read, By the meekness of and gentleness of Christ, I appeal to you. The meekness and gentleness of the Lord Jesus Christ. This word compassion is a very wonderful word. And what it means is to feel pain in the pit of our stomach. Compassion means to experience gut-wrenching pain. And that's what we are called to show each other in Christian unity. We exercise tenderness and compassion for each other. Look at the way Paul puts it. A dress that you and I should put on every single day. Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 to 14. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgives you. And overall, these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Did you hear those words? Perfect unity. How is that accomplished? When day by day, we put on the clothing that Paul recommends in Colossians 3, 12 to 14. I want to encourage you to write out those verses, get a printout and uh, paste it somewhere where you and I are reminded constantly as to what our attitudes should be to each other. Yes, we can have perfect unity, complete harmony, if we exercise tenderness and compassion to each other. Or to put it another way, exercise TLC tender, loving care. 
to one another. So today, whom are you going to reach out to? Somebody who is hurting, somebody who feels neglected, someone who is lonely. And uh, would you reach out to such a person, even a simple phone call, and to be able to offer to them tender, loving care? And in so doing, we are able to preserve and maintain the oneness that the Lord Jesus Christ created for us at the cross. Perfect unity among God's people, the most powerful witness to a hostile world as to what the Lord can do in each and every person's life. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.